Noroviruses are like the Ferrari of the virus field. They infect people very, very quickly, and they spread very, very quickly. So by the time you know you've been infected, you've probably already spread the disease to many, many other individuals. The virus appears to have infected more people at this time of year than we would normally expect, and the reason for this is not entirely clear. Each norovirus year is different, and it appears that the, the virus that we encounter every year is different, and it's primarily because the virus is continuously changing. So we've been studying noroviruses for around about 10 years, and the reason I find them so impressive is the fact that these viruses are so simple, yet they're, they have very devastating effects. So only a small number of virus particles are enough to infect an individual and cause them to be very, very sick for, very, for around about two days, and that, to me, is just absolutely fascinating. Noroviruses can infect pretty much anyone, even if you're fit and healthy. And in fact, noroviruses have been known to infect uh, football teams in the Premiership and in 2005 it was known that norovirus infect infection in the Tottenham football team cost them a very important game which meant that they lost one of the last position in the Champions League. They were unable to get a position in the Champions League. 10,000 children have recently been infected with norovirus via frozen raspberries. And what's thought to have happened is that these raspberries were contaminated by uh, dirty water and the children then have eaten these raspberries and become infected with the virus and spread it to their classmates. This has resulted in a very huge outbreak in Germany. What this tells us is that the virus is very stable in the freezer. So in fact, we would store our viruses at very low temperatures, almost minus 80 degrees centigrade. And this enables us to store the viruses a very long period of time. And in fact, the virus on the surface of these raspberries is quite happy in your household freezer for quite some time. And also household disinfectants tend not to work very well. So whereas bleach would work, your standard household disinfectant tends not to kill noroviruses very efficiently. Noroviruses are particularly good at spreading. And one of the reasons for this is because the, the mechanism of spread is via uh, fecal oral, so poo to mouth. So you have uh, vomiting episodes and diarrheal episodes and particularly violent vomiting episodes or projectile vomiting. And during these projectile vomiting episodes, you end up with a lot of aerosolized, very tiny, invisible particles of vomit that can spread very long distances. And these individual droplets of vomit contain enough viruses to infect many, many people. The health and safety labs in Buxton in the UK have been using a very interesting piece of apparatus, and they call this guy Vomiting Larry. And this is an anatomically correct model for the vomiting episodes that you would uh, you would experience when you get a norovirus infection and this has allowed them to study how the virus survives in the environment and how the surfaces that you would vomit onto can affect the distance by which this vomit would spread. People have been studying noroviruses for over 40 years yet we still don't know very much about them. There are many reasons why we still don't have a cure for these viruses or a vaccine. The first is that we still don't have the ability to grow human noroviruses in the laboratory. So in order to undertake any type, it makes it very difficult to study the basic biology of these viruses. In my lab has been trying to understand how these viruses work and with the overall aim of trying to identify drugs that will prevent infection and control outbreaks when they do occur.